everybody and welcome to another Sunday School lesson. As we welcome a new year, we can remember the Christmas message that God is with us. Christmas can be a very exciting time. We bake cookies, we share good food with people we love, open presents, and celebrate Jesus' birthday. We look forward to Christmas all December long, sometimes all year long. Now that Christmas is over, we have another long wait until next Christmas. That's kind of a bummer. Is anyone else a little sad that next Christmas is so far away? Me too. Christmas is a wonderful, special time, and sometimes people, even grown-ups, get sad that it's over. I have good news for you today. Even though we will put away the Christmas tree, take down the Christmas lights, and eat all the Christmas cookies, we do not need to stop being excited about Christmas. We can have Christmas spirit in January, February, March, April, all year long. One thing stands out is that God protected Jesus. God cares for us and guides our every step. Proverbs 16, 9. When God guides us, he will never lead us into sin or bad situations. As our excitement for and looking forward to Christmas faces, we still hold on to what Christmas means. Christmas means God is with us. Isn't it comforting to know that God is always with us? He came to earth as a little human baby and grew up and was tempted and went through tough times, just like us. Since he has gone through all these things we will go through, he's able to help us. So, at this time, if you have it, go get your Bible. Once you have your Bible, we're going to go ahead and play a little game. When I say go, I want you to go and look up Hebrews 2.18. If you can't do it by yourself, if you can't, go ahead and have mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever is around you to help you out, okay? Hebrews 2.18. Ready? Go. Awesome. Once you have it, here's what it says. Hebrews 2.18. Let's brainstorm together some ways we may suffer or sin or be tempted or tested. So, let's come up with some ideas. For example, here's an idea that you can go ahead and use. A pet running away. Um, failing a test. Cheating on a test. Not honoring your mother and father. Not honoring your grandpa or grandpa. Um, lying. Getting sick. So I'm going to go ahead and give you one minute, and you can try to come up with one or two things, hopefully three things, three things that you can think of that you can be tempted, tested, suffer, or sin. Go ahead and think of those things now. This is a pretty sad list, isn't it? You know, this this time of year with the new year right around the corner, you hear a lot of people talking about a clean slate, a fresh start, a do-over. A new year offers us a chance to grow and do better things than we did the year before. Without Jesus, it is impossible to do better. But Jesus can forgive us for our sins and give us a clean slate, a do-over. When we ask him to forgive us for our sins, it's like he erases it from our lives. So, go ahead and erase some of the things that we were that we wrote on our list. This year we can have a fresh start when we ask Jesus to forgive us of our sins and live in our hearts. This year we can fill our lives with good things because God is with us. One thing we can fill this year is with prayer. What are some good things we can fill our new year with? Because God is with us. So let's go ahead and make another list. What are some things we can do?
This new year, we don't have to be nervous or afraid of anything that may happen. We can hold on to the joy and excitement of Christmas all year long. Because, say it with me, God is with us.